Welcome back to our corner tonight. Okay, so tonight I'm going to this vid by Honest and it's called Whatever Happened to Eve? Yeah, to be fair, I was thinking of the other day, I was channel surfing, right? Blow Your Mind came on. I'm like, what happened to Eve? Well, last I heard about her, um, when she got married to this, um, white dude? Um, um, that, I don't know anything else. But yeah. Sure. Without further ado, I'm about to get into this reaction. <laughs> Legit, I'm so out the loop with every everything these days, I swear. <laughs> Could I say I'm my own little world. Staying alive. Right now it's currently snowing. Outside. Eve is a female rapper that often goes understated. Despite having some wonderful hits to her name and reaching great commercial heights, in all facets of media. Oh, I'm not some tambourine. She's a notable figure in hip hop and pop in the thousands, delivering her rhymes with a rough fierceness that often contained pop sensibilities. When she was 18, she began stripping to provide for herself. She only stripped for two months. During her short amount of time, you as gotta a do stripper, you gotta do. she found out more about herself and what she wanted to achieve. Eve was a Philly girl and always wanted to rap since she was younger. But at that point in time, she hadn't prioritized it. One night in the strip club, she had an encounter with rapper Maze, who listened to her rap and encouraged her to quit stripping and pursue a music career. In the beginning, she was signed to Dr. Dre's label, but nothing came of it, and she got dropped, likely due to Dre's priority over Eminem during that time. He was okay. absolutely devastated, but things would pick back up for her. She eventually got signed to Rough Rider Records, which also served as a hip hop collective, with DMX being the leader of the group. Oh, rest in peace, Eve DMX. became the first lady and only girl in the group, sometimes being called the pit bull in a skirt. She had a natural edge. Eve's introduction as an artist came through a series of low key features. In 1999, she began recording her debut album. Although Eve was no prude when it came to flaunting how good she looked, she did not take the hypersexual and sexually aggressive lane that her predecessors Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown did. She instead centered her image around struggles, empowerment, and cool party girl anthems. Her first single, What You Want, was unleashed in 1999. It peaked just within the top 30 on the Hot 100. It's a latin tinged rap song and features Eve's braggadocious personality. Her debut album, Let There Be Eve, Rough Rider's First Lady, would sell over 200,000 copies within its first week, becoming the third album by a female hip-hop artist to reach the number one position on the Hot 200. The album is loaded with Audie's jams, but the song that is the album's crowning jewel and Eve's touchstone is not a party song at all. It's a somber and angry acoustic rap number about domestic violence. The song is titled Love is Blind. Oh yes, I'm that song. one of the greatest songs in hip hop to cover the topic of domestic violence. But that is so, song so one true. one of the greatest songs released no, by Love a is woman hip hop period. It tells a story of a friend of Eve's who is being abused and is aimed at the abuser. It's very detailed but delivered in a very digestible and tasteful manner. Eve is full of fury and sadness on the track. The song was written by her based on a real friend of hers. It is certainly a staple for Eve. Following her debut album, Eve got a bit slicker, more fine-tuned, and polished. Her lead-off single to her second album, Who's That Girl, is a timeless piece of Latin-tinged pop rap, with one of the stickiest hooks of its time period. But it was the slick, cool girl Gwen Stefani collaboration, Let Me Blow Your Mind, that sent Eve blazing to the top of the charts, peaking at number two, and made Eve and Gwen the very first acts to win the Best Rap Song Collaboration Grammy Award, which Damn, was new at the that. time. Her second album, Scorpion, was well received and earned her another platinum album. <clears throat> By the time Eve's third album, Evolution, came around, Eve had set her sights on something bigger than music. The album produced the hit Gangs to Love It, a collaboration with Alicia Keys, becoming Eve's consecutive number two hit, and the album itself sold over 500,000 copies. But Eve began to diversify her brand, taking on acting roles, prominently appearing in the Barbershop movie, which became a box office hit, and following the success she was experiencing in music, she was approached by the UPN network, where they pitched her an opportunity for a show. 
as they were trying to appeal to a younger demographic. The show would simply be titled Eve and follows a young fashion designer who's balancing work and her love life. The show began airing in 2003, in the midst of her show run, she appeared in other movies. She also announced the launch of her clothing line, Fetish, which specialized in women's clothing. In 2005, her second collaboration with Gwen Stefani, Rich Girl, landed in the top 10. They were kind of like the prototype of a female pop singer and female rapper collaborating, a dynamic duo, if you will. Eve was a true it girl and multimedia personality. Although the Eve sitcom experienced popularity amongst young people of color, the viewership eventually faltered, and the show wrapped in 2006, after three seasons. The show was also I called no a idea about this company's show. merging situation, and a majority of the UPN shows got cancelled around this time after merging with the CW. Unpleasant feelings were expressed by the media and the public during this time, due to there being a noticeable decline of black sitcoms on TV. Following her show's conclusion, Eve appeared on Kelly Rowland's Like This, which became a top 40 hit and even bigger hit on the R&B charts. Hard times came for Eve, though. She parted ways with her label, her fashion line was canceled, Damn. and so was her show. In 2018, she spoke about how she turned to substance abuse during this time period in the 2000s. I call it my you know they say, the period. higher you climb, the hotter you I was fall. out of a toxic relationship. I didn't have the TV show. I didn't have a record deal. I was just kind of like, what is happening with my life? So I started drinking a lot, she recalled. I didn't want to deal with my emotions. I didn't have anybody to really talk to. That's it sad. wasn't until she crashed her Maserati and was arrested really on drunk driving charges in 2007 that she changed her life. She had to wear an alcohol-detecting ankle bracelet for 45 days. Thankfully, I did and was able to get healthy, she said. I prayed myself through it. I finally started figuring out things I needed to do to make myself healthy. Eve persevered, continuing to appear to make guest appearances in movies and shows. In 2010, she was featured on the My Chick Bad remix, a song by Ludacris alongside other female rappers such as Nicki Minaj. Eve had began working on her fourth album in 2007 with songs like Tambourine. However, due to label politics, the album would be stalled. Eve expressed her frustration with Interscope Records numerous times. She eventually parted ways with Interscope and released her fourth album titled Lip Lock independently in 2013. She also became a regular in the Barbershop movie franchise, with the latest movie being released in 2016, and all the movies being a box office success. Oh. Although Eve has not released an album since then, she has still been very active. Going on tour with Gwen Stefani in 2016, Appearing oh, okay. on a very long list of shows throughout the years, Empire, Jane the Virgin, and The Voice, just to name a few. She also okay. became a host on the daytime show, The Talk, and left in 2020 after three years. She appeared in Queens Damn. alongside Brandy and Atori Nodden in 2021. And as far as music, she made an appearance on the deluxe edition of Doja Cat's very popular Planet Her album, on a song titled Tonight, which calls upon Eve's signature 2000 style. So as you guys can tell, Eve is a very busy and determined woman. As far as her personal life, she recently became a mother, and she is married to a very successful entrepreneur. This woman's career has continued to be successful, multifaceted, and she still remains an appealing figure. She's a woman that came up in hip-hop, which is a challenge within itself, and then she continued to spread herself throughout other avenues. Even if music doesn't appear to be her main focus anymore, she's done well for herself. I think the amount of people uh, you, uh, that get big in the 2000s then they just completely fall off and you forget about them. I had no idea the husband was an entrepreneur though. But yeah, I definitely want to watch the other barbershop movies because I remember watching one, but this was ages ago. Ages ago. And yeah, well, it seems to be doing, well, it seems to be doing good for herself. Everybody knows where it is. I'm dropping right into the comments right now. Fun fact, Eve is the only female rapper to have a song with both Prince and Michael Jackson. Really? Well, <laughs> well, hats off to her then. Hats off to her. Rest in peace to those two legends as well. But yeah, that song tonight though, I don't really listen, I don't really listen to it though, I'm gonna be honest. 
Like I have the deluxe, the deluxe edition of Planet Her, but the only songs off that I like is is Why and um, Ride. <laughs> to be honest, someone called Weapon to e Weapon to Eve. She's li uh, she's living that life. That's what happened. <laughs> Married a rich man, became a mum, then dipped. <laughs> I mean, if I was good. Well, you know what this. You know what they say though. Uh, when uh, when you marry more than once in your life, first marriage married for money, second one married for love. <laughs> of course, other people. Of course, people have done the opposite, right? They married for love first, and then they married for money the, the second time around. <laughs> Way to go, forever indebted. <laughs> yeah, man. What can I say? I have a type, and they're called rich. <laughs> I'm kidding. But Eve, but Eve did well for herself, right? I'm sure she's laughing her way to the bank right now. Yeah, interesting vid. Uh, where where's Eve been? She's living. That's uh, that uh, that's what she's doing, and that's where she's been. But yeah, interesting vid. Okay, so that's it for this video. Like, subscribe if you want. I post it if I feel like it, and I'll see you next one. Bye.